John, oh, disappointing day. Um, I know you don't have a lot of time to, to think about it, but yeah, what um, what got away from us today? Um, I mean, where do I start, really? I think a um, couple of contentious decisions, I think, would be the best place. I think, look, I think a different referee would see things differently and a different official would see things differently. And I think, obviously, from our point of view, it was definitely a punch in the face to Tara Bourne. Um, I look back at the clips and you can see it's a clenched fist, so I'm very surprised that it was only a yellow card and got pulled back for that as well. But again, they can only officiate on what they see and you have to respect that. Um, but um, yeah, look, we're disappointed. I think the goal we conceded was very poor on our behalf. Um, I don't think Sunderland had any real opportunity after that couple of half chances. and. But one thing I will say is credit to them because they fought to the very end and they were very, very, um, they dug deep. And I think, to be honest, they, they came and they, they had a very good game plan, which which, um, which is fair play to, to themselves. Um, I think we're just disappointed because we just didn't really execute our side of the game very well. Um, I think both both teams were saying they didn't really work the keeper and we just obviously got to build on that for next week now. Performance-wise, like you say, it didn't quite click as it did last week. But we got into some good positions. Is it just a case of continuing to work on that obviously it is a, a, a different attack to last season yeah definitely I think the disappointing thing for me is the fact that like, we've conceded our two really soft goals no team has really opened us up if that makes sense um, which is obviously something we need to work on and be positive about but it's just very disappointing that, they, that they're the type of goals we've conceded um, again like last week we were delighted with the 1-1 against Charlton but the reality is we should have taken more of our chances and it's the same again this week so this is a very tough league it's a very topsy-turvy league anyone can take points of anyone so we have to make sure that we kill the games when we have the opportunity to um, and we're just very disappointed that we didn't today. It's a case of smile through the pain and take the positives for next week because there are some positives still. Yeah definitely I think um, I think we we look very threatening when we actually take the shackles off the girls and they actually get to go a little bit more gung-ho so that's something I think we need to like, look at as a coaching staff to see are we um, deploying the right type of mental tactics so something for us to think about but um, yeah look there's a lot to build on um, nothing to be ashamed about but be disappointed but I think the girls can hold their head up high I think you can see from the fans at the end that they knew that those girls left everything out there on the pitch and it was just that 15 minute period in the first half which basically cost us and we spoke about it at half time and what they did do is they gave me the reaction that I was looking for so that's all I can ask for You know you're going to get a, another tough game next week away at Blackburn it's always a, a tough match do you want them to sort of channel that energy that disappointment from today into next week's performance yeah 100% like, look we go there and we look to go and win like we do every single week um, look it's one game doesn't define a season but how you respond to this one game can define a season and look we, we will build on this we will come back in a positive attitude this week in training and we'll go again and what I will see now is uh, we'll see the resilience of the girls see whether who can handle it and who can't and I'm sure that pretty much all of them can and we'll just focus on that and move forward